This is Larry Stoll from Pace Turf again. Uh, we received a sample from a Poa Annua Green today, and this is in uh, the Southern California area where we've been having quite a bit of rainfall, and the green's fairly sandy on top, and the symptoms are kind of unusual, although it's something we've seen in the past. Uh, when you take a look at the symptoms, uh, I'll try to show you what happened. So as you can tell, here's the plug, and you can see there's some distinct areas of chlorosis uh, running through the sample. Although when you look at the foliage, uh, we don't see any plant pathogens. The roots are perfectly white, clean, and healthy. But if we take this sample and we turn it around sideways, so see we can see a nice green area over here. And as we turn it over, you can see that that green area is directly on top of where an aeration hole was located. And due to the more extensive root growth in that area, what we're seeing is very good, healthy turf color in that area and chlorosis around these other areas. We're going to run a little nitrogen test, a quick uh, nitrogen strip test, and what I think we'll find out is that the turf that has these deep roots that went down the aeration holes are going to have access to much more soil nitrogen. Even though the soil nitrogen levels are low, uh, there's a greater access. So we're talking about a couple of inches versus just hardly anything in the areas between the aeration holes. So let's take a look and uh, figure out what's going on there. Now the reason that the turf is not growing between the aeration holes is something we have to sort of think about, but I'm guessing it has to do with uh, related to compaction uh, more than anything else and that uh, more aeration would probably help out in this situation. But there you go. Looks like uh, we're going to see low nitrogen leaching uh, from these areas. All we have to do is replace the nitrogen, uh, anticipating that roots are short in those areas and, ex and more healthy growth where the roots have uh, deeper access. And then we'll have a couple of uh, notices on associated with this update that talk about trying to even out these sort of situations because as soon as you put some nitrogen on here you don't want to put a lot on you want to put a small amount frequently so that you don't cause these guys if you put a lot of nitrogen on it these deep roots are going to pick up all that nitrogen and you get a very bumpy surface well we ran the one-to-one -one dilution for the nitrate test which uh which is cited in above this update too and here's the results we get back what we're trying to do what we want to do is compare the color of the test strip to the indicators on the nitrate uh, test strip container and it shows that we're getting in around about one part per million and you have to convert that to uh, uh, a number that would be meaningful for soils but that comes out to somewhere around three parts per million so very low we'd like to see between 10 and 15 parts per million for a very healthy uh, robust poa annual green so what what happened in this case was the uh, rainfall recent rainfall they're running running the green a little bit low anyway recent rainfall leached the uh, nitrate nitrogen away from the surface very easily and the only roots that had access were the ones that are underneath the uh, green areas right right here and also over on this side over here so that's where uh, where the roots are is where it's green that's where it has the nutrients all we need to do is just slightly bump up the nitrogen levels and it should um, turn the entire surface uh, uniform color again 